Hello. Wow. Oh. oh. Hell oh, no. Oh, so the crow is the ones in this game that, uh, they take your rupees. Okay. That's, that's gonna make it interesting in the future if Jax ends up getting attacked by a mob of crows. Which you yeah, almost but... just got hit again. And hello everyone! My name is Buddy Tongsley, and this is Hijaxed! I'm trying to survive! Hi guys! And welcome, poor crow! Welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda uh, Echoes of Wisdom! In the last episode, we have saved uh, the minister, and we also have been given a mission to go in search of General Wright, and as well, Zelda's father, the king, in hopes to save them from the other oversized rifts. And we're right now in one of the regions that it seems one of the rifts is located. But right now, Jax is doing a little bit of traveling, and he found himself another one of those weird crystals. Let's see if it refills your stuff. I mean, I I say that's a good thing. Oh yeah, it is. Hop to hop one to hop one to hop one to whoop -a -boop. Whoop -a -boop -boop. Uh... Oh. Another one. Another. Okay, that was actually rather quick for you to find another one so fast. Watch. That's how you upgrade the sword. I feel like that's where it's getting at. And you know what? You know what? I'm done with. I was about to say, also, don't forget, you also have another bird that you can spawn yourself that probably would have been better than waiting for those spears. Hey, it's but you got another waypoint. Wait, am I actually... You're in a desert. That poor crow. Uh. Uh, scorpion. Gerudo <laughs> Desert. Whoa. I'm guessing that's the Gerudos. Probably. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. But this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now, we could check around the area with the biggest rift. Right. Let's say that automatically. And that looks like a scorpion. Oh, it's a one-eyed scorpion. Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Oh, yeah. Nope. Ain't got time for your bullshit. <laughs> Aru uh, Aruda, Jamaica. So tired. Oh, uh, I'll let you read that one first. The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. Uh. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. Uh. We can do this. We just need to get rid of the rift, take up back through the sanctum. Okay, so they're trying to solve the issue with the rift expanding. Just like everyone else is. Oh, pile of sand looks oddly interesting. Can you learn it? Oh, I was hoping you could learn a tumbleweed echo. Oh, I'm loving this. Jax is just getting annoyed now. I was, uh, I was at a uh, red hot a uh, warm pepper. Okay. This is starting to have a little bit of Breath of the Wild stuff here where we're gathering oh. fruit and- Oh, hi! You know what? You wanna play this fucking game? Play this fucking game. Oh, there you go. Double kill! Now the question is, how do we get this out of here? Wait, what are those scorpion things called? I missed the name. Uh, Arudos. 
Oh, I think they're based off of uh, Skyward Sword things. I'd have to look that up. If that's confirmed, I'll pop it up here. Uh, I don't think that's I what you know. need. I don't. I think you're right. Maybe there's something else you need in order to get that. I think right now we can't. That's where, that's where the this is at, but there's probably some stuff here we can do first. I mean, probably. So far, all I know is we got stuff to do being, going to where the rift is. But we did also see that there is a village here, so maybe you can go to the village for stuff? Because it doesn't look like the outskirts is going to have anything. We're just roaming around for nothing. Oh, yeah. Lord. It's Sandfish! Oh, he's sinking. Uh, well, I was gonna say maybe use the scorpions, but I think you're feeling you're right. Yeah, cause it looks like these things. Uh, yeah. Uh, why did you jump down? I have my. I have a way. There we go. Sand Piranha. Ha! That is a uh, fat moblin. Oh, and they're, they're actually bigger with clubs. Oh! Come on, wanna play this game? Oh, shit. You forgot to dodge. Honestly, didn't see them swim. Please tell me I'm still back over here. Oh boy. We'll be right back. Hey, there's one. You got the club. Club Borblin? Borblins? Okay. A new canon of Zelda enemy? Didn't know there was Borblins. And they have boomerangs. Ha! Nope. Well, they can't deal with a dark nut. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was... <laughs> I thought that prowl was mine. And now you can get that uh, boomerang borblin. And another warm pepper. There you go. Boomerang borblin. Good. Better range. I'll go here for a minute. Oh, it, oh it, increases, it increases it. Okay. Uh, well, no, it healed it. I'm guessing those are tektites. Or beetle? Or beetle? Okay. <laughs> did he just jump off? Yes, he did. He decided to just end his suffering. Oh, I get it. I get it. What? Oh. Beetle mound. I was thinking you could probably attach to them and then drop them down the hole. <laughs> this is taking them. He's away. trying to run. He's trying to run. Like no. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yay! Another. Another crystal. Nice. Okay, what happens whenever we summon the bound? Will they be good? Oh. Uh. Are they good? Like, try walking into them. Like, do they hurt you? Oh. Uh, yep, they're mine. They're mine. Yep, they're mine. <clears throat> well, I guess in a way you have a way of having 
an endless army. Whoa. It's a uh, tornado frog. Yeah, those aren't gonna work on him. Oh, well, though. Fuck that. Oh. oh, yeah, they can't affect them. Tornado yep. Echo. Uh, echo. Oh, Tornando. You're about nope, to die I'm again. Not, not risking that. Oh my god, that hurts. Sun tells me someone should start making potions or something. Oh, oh god. Oh shit. Okay, right, that's one dead. Nope. There we go. <clears throat> hey, there's a waypoint. Don't forget, though, we have a location that we have to get to so that we can... Oh, yeah, we're, we're way off. Okay, the village is bottom, village is bottom right. Or at least the... Rift. Oh, there's... There's something in there. Oh, hi! What the... It has a propeller! Uh... Your Borblins are drowning. They're drowning. Try the piranhas. The piranhas can swim in quicksand. There you go. They're fast and they can swim. Um... Can't tell if they're even able to hurt the thing. Also, you're about to die. I know this. Okay, yeah, the piranhas nope. aren't working on the thing. That can work either. The hell? It's like a stamp. Oh. oh. The fuck? Hey? Who's that? If this is who I think it- oh my god, it's not Tingle. Here's a pepper hat! Hello! It's, I'm the stamp guy! It's Tingle's brother. I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot! Now I'm Hyrule's hugest stamp fan! Bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down to leave a stamp behind. Plunktacular for start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, ready, rally. Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. Oh, it's like one of those cards where if you get the stamps every day you go somewhere, you get a reward or something. Yeah. Okay. Stand for Rally Beginners. I know you're gonna have fun, because I had fun making it! Now get a stampin' like you've never stamped before! What is with that muscular, like, bikini <laughs> version of himself? Great work! Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp! But hey! There aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my tastes. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to the limit! Okay, all together now! Ready, set, go stamp rally! 
Okay, interesting character. Hey, you found a village. Oh! It's a Deku merchant! And you also found chili cactus. Wait, is he like a merchant merchant? Hey. A business scrub. This is the place where you can craft your own freezing, taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come on now, let's get to it. Oh, so this is where you make the drinks. You got it. Some of this, some of that, mix it all up with a teensy pinch of... Alrighty. Meanwhile, he's just sprinkling cocaine into it. <laughs> Alright. Just a teensy pinch. You got a mixed milky smoothie. Hey, look at the hearts and heels! Jesus. Hope you like it. I added that recipe to the menu, which actually is giving me an idea. How about you first stop clicking so fast? I don't mean to, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, next time you do, I'm gonna take my big walnut shaped head and I'm gonna headbutt you in the nuts. <laughs> my siblings and I are new to the smoothie game. At the keep hold over the market, we're opening branches all over Hyrule. But that's been so much work, we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts. So what would you say to a joint venture? You make the recipes, we handle the business side. Come up with ten recipes out of ingredients from your travels, and we should be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. Oh, before you go. My siblings are running smoothie shops in other places, too. We're all sending ingredients from our local regions to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Sound like a hippie. I mean, the guy is, like, literally in the middle of the wilderness, kind of like a hippie. Is that, what happened? Oh, God, I'm kind of worried if you mix the monster fang in. So, literally... Wait, th it's been a while since I saw them brought back the Dekus into Zelda games. They normally replace them with, like, the the new variant of the, the Kokiri, which is the, uh... uh the, these guys, the the little tree plant guys that you also yeah. see in Breath of the Wild and uh, two Wind monster things. Yeah, like th they were they were seen in Wind Waker, and then they started becoming a thing in many other games. Oh, oh, you got an unfortunate smoothie. Oh, <clears throat> oh well, Jax mixes these. I guess we'll be right back. I say you save up on any of the drinks that gives you buffs like that, because something tells me that'll be good for, like, bosses and stuff. I will, I uh, um. Oh. Waypoint. Waypoint. We're getting much that? closer to that rift. Oh, I'll let yeah. you do this. It's not every day I see a highly in Indra desert. If you're wondering about the tent, there's a drill restriction something or other in there. I sure the cue to him. If you feel inclined, might take your mind to follow the rifts. What tent? Oh, this tent. This tent? Oh boy, is there a gypsy in here? <clears throat> oh my god, look at his eyes. And there's new beds! Bed, 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 you bed, can bed, upgrade bed. to a better bed now. You got a soft, soft bed. bed. I mean, it's better than the patched yeah. bed. Gerudo soldiers and dancers used to rest here, but now it's Torma's base for mango research. Yeah. Torma trusts that Chief Sira will figure out what to do about the rifts here in the desert. So she's keeping her focus on plant research, knowing it'll benefit everyone's future. Oh, so that plant. might be why they also have the Deku guy, because, like... All the plant research is also going into like all the like uh, smoothies and stuff that maybe is helping their economy. Maybe. Oh, Cheers, this... 
Do I... I'm willing to part with it if you talk to me about something else first. <laughs> From the side angle, their hair looks like a crab claw. You see that? Oh my god, oh my god, it does. Hello, welcome to Tough Mango Plant. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation of preparation food crisis. My current field study is focused on tough mangoes. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds to grow at a rapid rate. Sharing in the result of my work should help countless people in the future. There's one little problem. The mango plant withers as quickly as it grows. I'm able to harvest fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I run out of funding for my project. In response, I've been enlisted folks to help with the little game of Mango Rush. You can easily harvest the mango with a bit of a force, like a spin. Oh, the one thing that I happen to have. <laughs> There's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Eh, sure, what I Ten rupees. Ah, sure. Head downstairs. So, is this going to be like a mini game? I guess so. Uh, well, that's still her talking to you. I'd like to you harvest 40 or more mangoes. So you all like, should take some home. For that, for anything. This isn't too bad. Oh. Exquisite. Uh -huh. You've struck me. I don't think anyone could be capable of harvesting that many. Here you are. If we take these tough mangoes with you, thanks. Well, now you got mango to add to your smoothie recipe. Vibrant seeds? Um. Basically, it's their better, the bigger shot. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. You're gonna do it again? Give it a shot. Oh, alright. Give me the vibrant seeds. Oh, okay, we're going for the vibrant seeds yeah. ones. <clears throat> sure, let's give it a shot. Sharp thorns? Oh, have fun! <laughs> I knew this mini game was too seedy to predict it being good. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, so now you gotta be careful of uh, some of these plant. Oh, okay, they. You can actually notice when it's the sharp ones popping up. If you see little thorns poking out, it's the bad ones. So just keep your eyes open. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 the trampoline. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, trampoline going. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, you didn't get them all. I'm fine with that. That's fine. Uh, as if, oh, golden fan. Oh, got a golden fan. Just holding the golden fan. Oh, okay. so fabulous. What? The so she'll keep giving you mangoes every time you accomplish them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What does the fan? What is the? Just the fan. Oh. Just holding it makes you feel glamorous. Huh. Can you equip it like the heart pin? Nope. Nope. Okay. Where oh. could they be? Looks like a side quest. Uh huh. Where, where, where? Facet doesn't know, and she's the chief's aide. So where are they? Oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. 
I'm Tormali, an Oasis guard. <clears throat> Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with other, another mission recently. I take it you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. In your travels, have you see, ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? Yeah, I had not in this game, but I have before. According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Maybe you'll have better luck, though. If you find one, could you bring it to me? Sure. So you gotta find them a flying tile. Okay. Time to head down to the, uh, can I learn the tumbleweed? Mm, sadly, no. This is the big end right here. Yep, but you gotta go down below. Oh! Evil sand piranha! Evil sand piranha! What the? Whoa. Oh, that's a... That's a... That... Yep, okay, it's a... It's a redead. Actually, that would be useful. Oh, okay. Oh, it's durable. But it's... It's dying. Oh, you're about to get paralyzed. You're too close. Yep. Are you... <laughs> you're literally joining the fight by throwing pots. Hey, there you go. Now you gotta read that. That's actually kind of clip. That might be kind of handy, actually. Oh, yeah. It paralyzes enemies and stuns them. The only downside is... It takes a lot of hits. Wait, I got... Oh, I know you don't have enough uh, Tri-Force for that. Crap. I was about to say, like, what if you have the, the Dark Nut hit him and maybe summon, like, a Fire Slime? But, nah. I don't think Fire will affect the Redead. Normally, the Redeads don't like to be in the light, but this one's making an exception. Oh, there we go. Uh, those oh, enemies. It's a door here. Sorry, my 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 ADHD brain. That's fine. Oh. Oh, uh, I might have an idea for this one. Summon the dark nut. I may have an idea. Now attach to him, or let him fall to his death. And now, follow and walk him the other way. You okay, know, so idea. okay, so following him is not gonna work. So I got an idea again. Uh, spawn him down below. No. no. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Why do they keep suiciding? Uh, all right. So what you want to do is attach behind him, so that way he blocks the wind current for you, and you can just go by. There. Now go by. Well, not let, not follow him though. Just yeah, just do that. There you go. And now you're gonna have to do it oh, with that one too. But this time you're gonna have to have him below you. Yep. And now walk. You don't have to walk carefully. There you go. So like my you. my like idea you. worked halfway. <laughs> He's gonna do it anyway, apparently. So why the fuck not? Got a Gerudo pot. That would have looked more like a Zora pot to me. Yeah, you gotta go towards it, so spawn him and then Ha! His heavy fat ass is your benefit. Don't know Oh Oh! Uh the tornado guy! Yeah. Tornado. Hey, yeah, well. I would have attached him to you and just went around and vacuumed up all this. Well, that, that works too. 
We're just doing vacuuming. Uh oh. It's the duo Tornando Brothers. Ow. I need something better. Uh, I don't know if they're better, but all right. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, they're hidden, but they're also able to be flung. You're right. I forgot. They couldn't be, they couldn't be flung. There we go. There we go. Rubies. Or no. Rock. Rock potatoes. Ah! That's funny. You got a rock potato. Rock potato. Something tells me that's gonna be for like a Goron or something. You're probably right. More crystals. I have ten now. Yay. Alright. Well, now that we've uh, taken care of this little cave here, we actually got to end off this video here because we're actually all out of time. So while Jax exits this place, and wow, okay, that was thankful. That was luckily. luck, actually. Uh, while we exit this place, I guess in the next episode, we're going to go inside the giant rift and see what we can be able to do in order to cleanse it. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and to help support it. And as always, see you all in the next video. Take care bye -bye. and bye-bye.